Hello YouTubers, this is Shen. A few weeks ago I've unboxed the LG GWatch R powered by Android Wear operating system. It's been a few weeks and the time has come to bring you my detailed review. LG GWatch R comes with a 1.3 inch fully round display with 320x320 320 resolution. It has 46.4mm in width, 53.6mm in length, 9.7mm in thickness and weighs only 61 grams. The case of the watch is made of steel and on the right side we have a single button. The G-Watch R comes with a 22mm leather band which feels quite cheap. I have decided to swap it for a metal bracelet. I chose the 22mm rich and you can find a review on my channel as well. The back of the watch is plastic. Here you can find the magnetic pins for charging, pulse meter and the LG logo. The plastic bag combined with a small weight gives an impression that the watch is very delicate. Nevertheless it lies comfortably on the wrist and is actually quite similar to my previous watch. Thanks to the IP67 certification the G-Watch R is dust and water resistant. The charging dock that came with the smartwatch is very impractical. Although it does have a magnet to keep the timepiece in place, very often even slight misalignment stops the watch from charging. The device is equipped with Snapdragon 400 chipset, clocked at 1.2 GHz, 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB of internal storage. The 1.3 inch OLED display has 320x320 320 resolution. On the list of sensors we have an accelerometer, barometer, gyroscope and heart rate monitor. On first boot you will be welcomed by the LG logo and the Android Wear booting animation. On the list of available languages we have German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Russian and Chinese. Those are all that are available for now. To work the watch has to be connected to a device running Android 4.3 or higher with the Android Wear app installed from the Play Store. Once paired via Bluetooth we can start using the device. There is a short tutorial in the beginning which will show you the basics of how to navigate around the watch. Click anywhere on the watch face to get to voice commands and the menu where you will find a list of commands and settings. In settings you can adjust the brightness, turn on always on display mode, airplane mode or turn off restart or reset the watch. The watch does not come with automatic brightness adjustment. Here we can also choose one of the available watch faces and in Play Store you will find hundreds of other designs. As I've mentioned during the unboxing, the interface of Android Wear is unintuitive. To open an app you need to go to the voice command menu, click on the last position on the list and then select an application you want. Fortunately, thanks to third party developers we have alternative apps in the Play Store such as the Wear Mini Launcher. After installation you will be able to swipe from the left side to open all apps. I am sure you are wondering what can you in fact do with Android Wear and the LG G Watch R. Firstly, the device displays notifications and Google Now cards which show you various information, for example about the weather. The smartwatch can also become your fitness assistant. You will however have to remember to take your smartphone with you as it does not have a GPS module or podometer. The built-in heart rate monitor will let you check your pulse and the watch will display information from various available fitness apps such as Endomondo for instance. If your smartphone receives a phone call, the watch will vibrate and inform you about who is calling. Unfortunately, to pick up the call, you will need to use the phone as the watch does not have a speaker. Something I really enjoyed in Android Wear was the navigation. Once you select the route in Google Maps on your phone, the directions will be displayed on the watch face preceded by a vibration. This was quite useful while driving, but for sure would be perfect for cycling. Yet another useful feature is the ability to control the music player on your phone using the smartwatch. Although Android Wear cannot play music itself, this will let you change track, adjust volume and see what song is playing. The main means of communication with Android Wear besides okay, touch Google. are voice commands. The smartwatch reacts to OK Google command. Unfortunately only a few languages are available at the moment and I used English. This way you can ask about the current weather, turn the stopwatch on, measure your heart rate, add a reminder or a note or respond to an email. There are quite a few apps available for Android Wear in the Play Store. I will mention just a few which I've used. First one is the calculator which will for sure prove indispensable during math exams. Next we have Twitter for Wear to browse tweets with like and retweet functionality. 
Find My Phone, as the name suggests, will locate your device when it is within Bluetooth reach or vibrate when you get out of range. There are also a few games available, such as Deadly Spikes or Spooky Pumpkin Crash. One last app I want to mention is Duolingo. It has Android Wear extension to help you learn a foreign language. LG G Watch R comes equipped with a 410 mAh lithium ion battery. When it comes to battery life, it will vary a lot with usage. I was easily getting two full days of work and sometimes even three. I would have the smartwatch in always on mode during the day and in theater mode with screen switched off at night. LG G Watch R is a unique smartwatch in that it has an OLED display technology. Each pixel is lit up by itself so that the black background does not use energy. In comparison, Moto 360 has its screen off most of the time. Is it worth buying the LG G Watch R? In my opinion, Android Wear is still quite experimental and it is in the developing phase. LG G Watch R is a brilliant smartwatch made for this system, which as opposed to some of its competitors has a decent battery life and looks like a traditional watch for men. Personally, I didn't like Android Wear. In my opinion, smartwatches are an unnecessary gadget which does not bring much improvement in terms of functionality. After all, why do I need a notification that I have an incoming call if I can't pick it up? Additionally, I don't like talking to my gadgets and dictating messages, and there is the limited language support as well. Huge advantage of smartwatches is the ability to change watch faces. This way they'll fit a suit as well as your casual wear. The launch price of about $300 is steep as well. At this price you can buy a decent smartphone that will offer a lot more. I think that for now Android Wear and smartwatches are a novelty for tech enthusiasts and when it comes to watches I'm old fashioned. I hope that you've enjoyed my video. I have a comparison of LG G Watch R and Moto 360 along with other reviews coming up. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll visit my channel again.